Hello YouTubers, and welcome back to having a blast on Wing Commander Saga The Darkest Dawn. I believe we're on part 3 now. Uh, yeah, after a brief hiatus, I'm back, albeit with a cold. Uh, I've learnt my lesson as you can see, and I'll show you something else. The Hellcat, that's nice. So, uh, when we last left off, uh, we uh, knocked out those two cap ships we saw in the first mission, and then a bloody fleet arrived. Well, that's just typical. And, uh, well, in the words of Matt Johnson, something always goes wrong when things are going right. So, let's uh, see what the consequence to this new development is. Whoops. You all heard the scramble alarm, so we have to make this quick. Recon flights from the Sparrowhawk Squadron report the KAS to Flask has all but cleared his flight decks, and they will be here within the hour. Our recon patrols have already entered engagements with Kilrathi scouts. To protect the carrier, Colonel Walker is ordering a Magnum launch, all available fighters up. Ships from the other fighter squadrons are fanning out from the Hermes to form a main defensive perimeter. Others are going to intercept these Kilrathi destroyers, which are fast approaching missile launch range. We Bloodhounds are pulling point defense. Our job is simple. We are to stand guard over the Hermes and her escorts. We will coordinate our defense with the other squadrons and escorts of the battle group. Anything that gets past our main defense force, we will take out. No questions asked. Let's get to it. Well, there's your consequence. We're flying cap today. Um, yeah, yeah, I quite like flying cap, you know, just... It, it's kind of like um, escorting, except you don't really go anywhere. Um, but, oh. And I've turned my throttle down to zero now. See, there's learning again. So, quite a consequence. So we've got to um, pray to God we all survive. Commit. Bloodhound, you are clear for launch. Good to know our own personal guard dogs are on duty. Sweeney, if we're dogs, can I lay on your lap when this is all over? <laughs> Head in the game, mister. Yeah. So, that's how you're supposed to launch your fighter. Right. Sandman, are you receiving this laser link? I hear you, sir. I want you being the wing leader again. I saw you command during the raid. Now I want to see how you do it in the point defense situation. Oh, cool. I don't recall actually giving much Major command. Edgy. Those destroyers are almost in missile range. Blow them out of my sky. Roger that, Colonel. All units, the enemy strike force is broken into several groups and are re-vectoring to hit us from different directions. Major Boss, the techs are preparing to bring the other half of your squadron up. They will be ready in a few minutes. Great. This is Great White Squadron covering Gamma Quadrant. We've got enemy fighters and bombers moving into our area. We're breaking formation to engage. Those Archer Squadron covering Delta Quadrant. We have sighted hostiles. Smudge our fleet in the beta quadrant. We are engaging the enemy. Burma Tiger Squadron, engaging enemy fighters in Alpha Quadrant. Cool. So, the battle to defend our carrier has begun. Again, I might add. Again? Yeah, we pulled point defense duty last week. That was our Rear Admiral Callahan got mortally wounded. Thanks to Grey Wolf. Hey pal, it wasn't my fault. I was kidding, Grey. Major Gonzalez really botched that last one. Pay for him with his life. And then you guys, we wait till any Kilrathi get past the perimeter. Till then, keep your mouth shut. Right. So, here's to hoping that uh, they manage to keep him away. This would be a very easy escort job then. More pop down with both the escorts and broken through our defense perimeter. Oh, brilliant. Right. Okay. Hello, Major. Bombers ahoy. Go for the bombers first. Break and attack. Break and light them up. Got that. Right, it's always important in this situation to take out the bombers first. It doesn't matter if you've got four Drathi smashing your back doors in, you must take out these guys. Because these are the ones that will really hurt. Ooh, whoops. Maybe I'm not in a fit state to fly this thing. <laughs> oh. Have some of that. How do you like that? Oh, 
like those apples. Have one of them. It's on the house. Great. Any more bombers? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, crap. Don't you dare let one go. I do indeed, sir. Come on, come on. Torpedo put you off. Wonder how many people got sucked out into space on that one. Oh dear. Yeah. There'll be another one somewhere. Although I can't quite remember which direction they come from. I'm guessing somewhere over this way. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Break formation and open fire. Got that. Maybe I should actually specifically tell him to attack the bombers. Uh, open fire on my target. I'm switching to target. Thank you very much, Mr. Fairfax. Watch out! Right behind you. Wait. Oh. Gotta stop ramming people. one went down a lot better. Considerably better. This great white leader, my exec has been shot down. Repeat, my exec has been shot down. I think he managed to eject. Prepare to send out SAR. Leave him, he's finished. What in blood blazes is going on over there, Jaws? We took down a couple of fighters, but no bomber kills. Headed in your direction. Over. We are surrounded by incompetence. Phalanx, do your thing. Break formation and open fire. Got that. Be sure that you do, Phalanx. Be sure that you do. <laughs> I think the best way to attack these is to flank them for sure. So if you get right behind them, then uh, you just get shredded by the turrets. However, you can't really flank them for very long. Oh dear. Any more? Yes. Right, okay, I think we're at, they're all out of bombers for this particular round. Aw, oh, man, that was mine! I don't seem to be getting any kills anymore. <laughs> oh well. Made it's just nice to take part, I suppose. Casualty report, Mud Shark Leader. Free down. No jets. War Jag, Ice Blade, and Foxtrot. Oh dear. Gars here. All Kilrathia and our region are gone. Have a quadrant secure. Hermes! The Kilrathia are ripping us to pieces! We need assistance! Oh dear. Burma Tigers, come in! Burma Tigers, respond! Spider wing, can anyone report of the Burma Tigers' status? We can't see them from here due to the jamming. This is Mud Shark 3. Four of the Burma Tigers have been destroyed. The rest of the squadron's in trouble. Lieutenant, what about the bombers? They're still en route. 
brilliant, brilliant, just brilliant. We're picking up bombers and escorts. Break and attack. Got that. Oh, marvelous. I've one of those. Any more? That's all the bombers. Hermie, Itchy here. We've nailed both destroyers before they could launch missiles. Finally, someone who did something right. We're getting reports from the other squadrons. All surviving Kilrathi are breaking off engagement and retreating. Great job, team. And the Hermes lives to see another day. Whew, we did it! Good work, Fighter Wing. I'm proud of you all. Bloodhounds, you have clearance to land. Mission Brilliant. Right. Let's go home. There's something got to be said about these sorts of missions. Point defense and stuff like that. Uh, it really gets the blood pumping because you think, oh, God, if I don't get this right, I've got nowhere to land. And I don't think anyone would be happy if, say, the Olympia went down. It, it nearly did. Nearly did. Oh. Whoops. Let's land this bad boy. <laughs> I think the deck under your feet is probably congratulations enough after a defense mission. But in addition, that was a job well done, people. We could have tightened it up in a few places, but overall, I'm very, very pleased. I know this isn't going to sit well with many of you who have fought hard for this piece of space, but Captain Moran has been ordered by HQ to take the battle group into Vega and abandon Brimstone for the time being. Ours is not the reason why. We're keeping all squadrons on alert. We have some travel ahead of us to the Vega jump point, and if I know the cats, they'll want to give us a noisy send off. Dismissed. So that's mission three. Um, yeah. So you're uh, doing a bit of defense, and uh, it, it really gets. Uh, there's quite a lot of suspense. You're thinking, alright, so uh, <laughs> what's coming our way then? Every time you hear, oh dear, there's some uh, fighters coming through and whatnot. So. Um, I won't leave it as long the next time, but if you have been YouTubers, thank you very, very much for watching.